so i welcome you all to programming knowledge so this is our fourth tutorial of our django series so like in the previous three tutorials i showed you how you can create a django project how you can work with the uh, how you can initialize the django app how you can uh, work with the request and response part so if you have any doubts regarding to that tutorial or you have missed anyone so you can refer to my previous three tutorials so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so like in this tutorial we are going to basically work with templates and before I start with this tutorial I will show you that you can uh, go to our github repository and uh, you can have the uh, look at full source code that we were working with in the previous three tutorials so you can move to this link github github.com slash pro software development and the learn django is the repository name so I, you can have a look at our uh, full source code you can either you can even download this repository you can download this full source code and I have mentioned below how you can run this project so like what you need to do you can either clone or clone this project or download the project extract the files then uh, move into the project directory and there, there's a file called requirements.txt I showed you in the previous tutorial uh, in the like in the previous tutorials uh, how you can create a requirements.txt file and why is it created so uh, you need to install the uh, all the packages necessary to work with the project so I would open the requirements.txt file this is these are the package uh, required and after uh, installing these packages you can uh, type the command python manage.py run server and this would uh, run this project on your local machine so we would be uh, 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 working on this repository as well so after the video I'm going to push the source code you can have a look at the source code as well what changes were changes were done so this would help uh, help you to track the code as well uh, and you can run this project on your local machine as well so uh, in this tutorial uh, we are going to work with templates and uh, basically I told you that Django is based on MVT pattern model view and templates so models are based with your database and views are based on your business logic part and templates are based on like uh, on front end so models are based on your database views on business logic and templates for front end part so what you can uh, i want to tell you that for uh, front end part basically we are going to use bootstrap so bootstrap is a, uh, uh, is an uh, mo world's most popular framework for building responsive mobile first sites so I would show you the responsive nature of bootstrap as well because if you are making a web application and what you want to you want to target an audience so what you want to do is that if someone is using a web application on a desktop then some uh, another day might someone it might use on a, a laptop as well tablet mobile phone uh, and uh, like there are various screen sizes so you want your application to adapt that screen size to so that to adapt that screen size bootstrap is used so this would uh, make your content uh, responsive in nature and it would it adapt to the particular screen size of the user and this would help you to for a uh, faster uh, development as well so it has all the predefined CSS HTML JavaScript libraries and we will be using these templates and I would show you how you can use uh, uh, how you can use Chrome developer tools to edit your your pages and you can sh uh, uh, you can sh be uh, sure about how you can create your pages as well so the first thing you need to do uh, like uh, first thing you need to do like this uh, this is I mentioned how you can uh, go with the repository and the same thing you set, uh, second thing you need to do you need to move into a settings.py file and uh, before this you need to create a, a two folder one with the name templates another with the name static so templates and static are the two folders you need to do so first I would move to the my project directory so this directory is same as the github repository so I would create a new folder named templates so this is the first folder I have created templates and the second one which I am going to create is the static so static basically is working with your static file it could be any static file so basically just for an example uh, you have an image which is a raw image and you need to uh, use it multiple times so you can store a raw image in your static folder so in order to display in your web page as well so two folder templates will be having your html files and static is go going to have your uh, raw files uh, it could be in any form so 
after creating these two folders what you need to do is to add them in your directory so the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, move to your settings.py file and uh, one uh, shortcut I would show you that inside VS Code you can type Control plus P and move to any file. Suppose I have to move to this urs.py file or models.py models.py file let this be file. So I would type models.py and then, uh, it would uh, uh, have give me some recommendation about and I would click on it and I would move to this file. So in this way I would again back move to settings.py file. So this is a very interesting shortcut. So under the installed apps, I have mentioned my app and under the directories, templates, what I need to do, uh, I have to mention my current path where my templates are stored because this all this list is basically associated with the templates directory. So I would type os.path.join base directory comma templates so this would join my folder that I am telling that it could be any OS environment uh, I would uh, join this from base directory to the templates so this would connect with this folder so my project is not connected with this folder the second thing I need to do is uh, the same thing I need to do for the static files but uh, this is little different so I have to first mention the list static files underscore directories so this is the list and I would be using this so you can see that these are almost same thing os.part.join base directory underscore templates and another is os.part.join base directory comma static so what I can do is OS sorry OS dot path dot join base directory comma static okay so this looks good so I will run my server so till the time uh, I will show you one thing that uh, the my servers were working fine and I had made some URLs like in the previous tutorial I showed you how you can make the request in the response part so uh, like uh, just for uh, just for uh, to be sure about this uh, I would move to localhost colon 8000 okay so it says hello world uh, and I showed you like you can create an uh, URLs as well so like in this we are going to create a URL so, so first thing you need to do is move to your templates folder so these are the two folders which I made templates and static so inside your templates folder you need, you will create a new file and name it as index.html and you would you can you would make this file and open this file and what you are going to do this inside your index index.html file you are basically create your first html page and what you are going to do is you move, you would move the bootstrap website and you would go to the getting started then introduction getting started and introduction and now you would first pick the starter template because this would be very helpful you would you can copy this and paste this inside then index.html so like you can see that it has the whole html structure and it has all the javascript libraries predefined as well as the CSS libraries as well and you can note one thing that these uh, CSS files as well as the JavaScript files has been kept online so anyone can use this uh, uh, CSS and JavaScript files because these are predefined in bootstrap and you, anyone can use bootstrap to make your web application responsive okay I would change this title to learn Django and basically I would save this file and basically the title is this what you can see above here the like uh, introduction bootstrap github dash pro software developer like this is a, your title so learn Django and I would say, uh, change this hello world Django 
project okay okay so what you can do is you can move to your urls.py file and you can define a url to render your page so just for example i would define path my first page and i would call views dot my first name so my first page and i would give this a name my first page so i have created a path called my first page view and i would call the function my first page from views and i have this uh, given a short name to this url as my first page so this is throwing me an error and why is it because i have did not define my first page function inside the views so i would move to my views.py file so there my first page it is taking a request as a parameter and this time like in the previous tutorials i showed you that i there can be various type of responses one is http response json response but this time i'm uh, uh, i'm going to render a html page so i would say return return render request comma index.html so so this would render the html page and when i would move to this url so this would show me that page so i am inside my uh, local host and i would say slash my first page okay so yeah it's, it's fantastic so what you can see that it has rendered the first page now i am uh, showing you two shortcuts the first one is control plus u so this would show me the whole front end code so this is the first shortcut you can use the uh, i will repeat control plus u okay and the second one is you can use inspect element okay and you can see now the responsive nature of this i can show you that uh, this is like chrome developers tool and you can use this to work with the front end part of your project it is very good okay galaxy s5 iphone 5 okay this shows the uh, responsive nature laptop laptop screen so this will be laptop so what i can do is uh, uh, move to galaxy s5 uh, and uh, i would inspect this and i would element dot styles i would change color is equal to red so this changes the color of this heading to red but this is uh, to only to have a view of your project but as soon as I refresh, because this is temporary, you do this, uh, you can do some temporary changes to, to have a look. But as soon as I refresh this page, this is, this is vanished. So, and, so you can use Chrome developer tools uh, uh, to have a change, uh, look at your front end part. So I would uh, continue with the lecture and I will tell you how you can work with the backend logic and integrate it into the front end part as well. So thank you everyone. So thank you everyone.